Hey there, I am Marup Said, a microbiologist and a science educator. Science is my passion and I'm here to share it with you. Microbial enumeration in water. Peconki agar plate and membrane filtration techniques. But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. The table of content includes principle of membrane filter technique introduction to equipments, procedure of water testing protocol, and lastly, precautions. First, let's begin with the principle of membrane filter technique. The membrane filter technique is based on the principle of using a porous membrane filter to physically trap microorganisms from a liquid sample. By passing a known volume of the sample through the membrane, microorganisms are retained on the filter surface. After incubation on a suitable agar medium, microbial colonies develop and their enumeration allows for the quantification of viable microorganisms in the original sample. Next, introduction to equipment. First, we will have the membrane filters. Sterile filters made of materials like cellulose acetate, nitrocellulose or other suitable materials with defined pore sizes. Number 2. Filtration apparatus filter holder a device designed to hold the membrane filter securely and facilitate the passage of liquid through the filter it includes a funnel filter support and a receiver for the filtrate number three vacuum pump or pressure system provides the necessary force to pass the liquid sample through the membrane filter a vacuum pump or pressure system can be used depending on the specific filtration setup. Number 4. Sterile forceps or membrane filter dispenser. Tools for aseptic handling and transfer of the sterile membrane filter from the filtration apparatus to a petri dish. Number 5. Petri dishes. Sterile containers for holding the membrane filter during incubation and the colony counting. Number 6. Culture media. Sterile agar medium suitable for the growth of the target microorganisms, neutron agar is commonly used. Number 7. Incubator Maintains a control temperature conducive to the growth of microorganisms, typically set to 35 to 37 degrees Celsius for bacterial analysis. Number 8. Disinfectants Solutions such as ethanol or bleach for decontaminating equipment and surfaces to prevent cross contamination. Number 9. Safety Equipment Personal Protective Equipment PPE, including gloves and safety glasses to ensure the safety of the personnel handling the samples. Kindly show your support to my channel by subscribing. Now let's begin with the procedure of water testing. First test is McConkey agar plate method. Materials required McConkey agar plates, sterile syringe, incubator set to 37 degrees Celsius. Let's start with water testing through McConkey agar plate method. Ensure the McConkey agar plates are sterile and ready for use. Sample collection Collect a water sample in a sterile container. Label the sample container with the source of water and the date. And make sure to label the plates as well with the date and water sample name. Now let's begin with the inoculation. Using a sterile syringe, Aseptically, take 1 ml of water sample. Make sure you remove the air bubbles from the syringe. Spread the water evenly on the surface of the McConkey agar plate.
close the lid without tilting the plate for a few minutes to allow the water to be absorbed. Incubate the McConkey agar plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours. Observation Check for the growth of characteristic clonies. McConkey agar is selective for gram negative bacteria, and lactose fermenting clonies will appear pink or red. Number 2 Membrane Filtration Technique Let's see the materials and equipment required. You will require membrane filtration unit which includes funnel, filter flask and vacuum pump. Membrane filters, neutron agar plates, sterile forceps and incubator which is set to 37 degrees Celsius. Let's begin with the procedure of membrane filtration technique. First, prepare the filtration unit. Assemble the membrane filtration unit. Connect the filter flask to the vacuum pump ensuring a tight seal for proper filtration. Prepare membrane filters. In aseptic conditions, take a sterile membrane filter out of the box using sterile forceps. Lift the filter from the corner without touching the membrane and remove the covering. Carefully place the exposed membrane filter onto the filter funnel. And place back the filter funnel on top of the filter membrane. Now pour a small volume of water through the funnel. and switch on the vacuum pump. Water will pass through the membrane filter. When all the water has been passed, aseptically remove the filter funnel and remove the membrane filter from the funnel with the forceps. Make sure the forcep is sterile as well. Place the membrane filter onto the center of a sterile neutron agar plate. Make sure the white part of the membrane filter is placed on top of the neutron agar. Now incubate the neutron agar plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 72 hours. Check for microbial growth after 24 hours and at irregular intervals. Observation. Observe the neutron agar plates for the presence of clonies. Count and identify clonies as needed. Record observations and report the results, including the source of water and the date. Ensure that all the steps are performed under aseptic conditions to prevent contamination. Following these refined protocols should enhance the accuracy and reliability of water testing using both methods. Let's learn the precautions. When performing the membrane filter technique for water analysis or other microbial applications, it's essential to follow specific precautions to ensure accurate and reliable results to maintain a safe working environment. Here are some important precautions to consider. Number 1. Personal Protective Equipment PPE. Wear appropriate PPE including gloves and safety glasses to protect yourself from potential exposure to microorganisms and chemicals. Number 2. Aseptic Techniques 
Practice strict aseptic techniques to prevent contamination of samples and equipment. Sterile all equipment before use. Number 3. Sample Handling Handle samples carefully to avoid spills or splashes. Using sterile containers for sample collection and seal them securely. Number 4. Decontamination Decontaminate work surfaces and equipment with appropriate disinfectants before and after use to minimize the risk of cross-contamination. Number 5. Filter Handling Use sterile forceps or a membrane filter dispenser when handling filters to avoid contamination. Touch only the edges of the filter. Number 6. Membrane Filter Placement Ensure proper placement of the membrane filter in the filter holder to prevent leaks or uneven filtration. Number 7. Avoid air bubbles. Minimize the introduction of air bubbles during sample filtration as they can impact the accuracy of colony counts. Number 8. Proper priming if required. If using a vacuum filtration system, ensure proper priming to eliminate air from the system. Follow manufacturer's guidelines. Number 9. Quality control. Include positive and negative controls in each analysis to validate the accuracy of the procedure and reliability of the results. Number 10. Incubation conditions. Maintain consistent and appropriate incubation conditions, including temperature and humidity, for accurate colony development. Number 11. Keep detailed and accurate records of the procedure, including sample information, filtration parameters, and incubation conditions. Number 12. Regular calibration. Calibrate equipment regularly to ensure accurate measurement of sample volumes and flow rates. Number 13. Emergency procedures. Be familiar with emergency procedures in case of equipment malfunction, spills, or other unforeseen incidents. 14. Proper waste disposal. Dispose of contaminated materials properly according to local regulations and guidelines. 15. Training. Ensure the personnels performing the membrane filter technique are adequately trained in microbiological techniques and safety protocols. 16. Follow manufacturer's instructions. Adhere to the manufacturer's instructions for all equipment and reagents used in the procedure. 17. Regular maintenance. Perform routine maintenance on equipment to ensure its proper functioning and prevent potential issues. Lastly, 18. Consult guidelines. Concern prevalent guidelines, standards, and regulatory requirements for water quality testing in your specific region or industry. By implementing these precautions, you can help minimize the risk of contamination, ensure the accuracy of results, and maintain a safe laboratory environment during the membrane filter technique. Always follow established protocols and guidelines for water quality testing in your specific application. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you liked my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much.